So these are the hives. Um, last night we boarded them up. I realize that I'm, I'm still definitely an amateur beekeeper. I, um, I moved a hive overnight before a few miles and it was much easier than this. Um, one mistake that I made, I should have put these tops on the, a few days before. So what I did was I put this special top on last night. Um, there's a grating here and there's some duct tape along the outside just to make sure it's completely sealed. And the same grating and duct tape is on the inside of this hole where I'm going to put the sugar water to keep them busy on the trip. Um, and then this board is nailed in, completely sealed. Um, and this is going to offer them ventilation. I put this on last night, so there was a bunch of bees still on the old top. So that means we had to corral a bunch of bees into the hive before we closed it. And here in the front, um, there's a moving screen. Um, again, also nailed in. We had to do some extra adjustments on the sides to make sure it's completely sealed in. We also nailed some pieces of wood to obviously each um, separate section of the hive so that it would not be jostling around. Um, the poor little guys are so annoyed right now. It's just, um, now we have to keep through with the plan, but um, I don't know if I would move them long distance again. Also what we did to get the straggler bees, and there's actually two still hanging out on the outside there, I might just let them in my car. Um, what we did was we used the smoker and then also um, we just used latex gloves on our hands and just kind of moved them very gently with our hands into the hive and that's how we got the majority of bees back in. My bee mentor, Dan, was telling me how you can lose up to 20% of your, your worker bees, your field workers, um, by even moving them overnight. Um, so we, we moved the bees last night, I closed them up, and then we left a box for the stragglers that night in the same exact spot that we had, um, had the hives. And today, as you can see, there are a bunch of little guys here. And this is just a paper box with holes in it, um, and it has some old hive material, so the scent will attract them. And in about two days, Dan's going to come back and pick it up and add these guys to one of his hives. Unfortunately, I'm going to be far away at that point, or else I could have come back and gotten them. But if you're moving a shorter distance, this is a great way to not lose your worker bees. It's 99 degrees outside at night, so we are spending the night with everybody inside the hotel room, and we have our little ice water, sugar water bottles there for the night. After two nights of sleeping in a hotel room, tonight, uh, 6 o'clock, until sunset. The bees get to go out, have some water, go to the bathroom. Um, from what I understand, they don't go to the bathroom in their hive, so they um, were really needing to get out by tonight. Um, also, if you let them out the whole day, they'll, they'll venture out further, but if you let them out, you know, it gets dark around 8.30, 9 o'clock here during the summer, so um, that will give them only a few hours so they won't go too far. Um, and hopefully we'll be returning back to the hive before I board them up tonight and put them back in the house. You do want to put them back in the house because you do not want stragglers or other bees um, hanging out the outside of the closed hive before you put them in your car. Also, you'll notice that I covered up the top um, so that the bees don't hang out on the top of the little vents there. At every stop, I make sure I have either the windows open or the air conditioning on, depending on how hot is it is outside, and I put the little water, sugar water bottles out for them.